Hi again. Uh, it's been a while since I visited everybody in YouTube world. Um, I have a lot to talk about. A lot of things have happened. And hopefully I look better. Um, I feel like I look better. So... <laughs> I hopefully I hopefully I look better. <laughs> um, where to start? Well, first, our little girl is going to be three months old tomorrow. Wow, I three months already. Uh, it's been absolutely amazing. Uh, just recently, she started uh, expressing emotions, like smiling and frowning and giggling and little things like that and it absolutely melts my heart uh, every morning she usually smiles at me when I say hi to her and play with her a little bit and that so uh, Anastasia has settled into motherhood better than anybody could imagine well I knew she would but she's a awesome mom I couldn't have asked for a better woman to be mother of my kids. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm so honored. Uh, <sighs> for Harley herself, she's growing. She's doing well. Um, <laughs> she's one strong baby. Uh, <laughs> but since she's come into our lives... She has helped me more than she will ever know um, with my transition, with discovering more of who I am, um, building my confidence. So, thank you, Harley. Um, I hope you see this one day. Uh, for me and Anastasia, things are going very well. Our relationship is doing well. Uh, and unfortunately, Anastasia has not been getting a whole lot of sleep because she has been sacrificing her nights so I can sleep. And when I'm off, I try to shoo her to bed, and I'm not always successful. She's stubborn that way, but it's a work in progress. Um, I'm grateful for her doing that because by her um, making that sacrifice... I'm able to get the rest I need so I can go out and make money. So, thank you, sweetie. Also, I wanted to take the time to mention, um, without Anastasia, without my soulmate, I wouldn't be where I am now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, without her unconditional and undying love for me and support, I don't think I would have the strength to do a quarter of what I've done so far and that's what I needed to free myself was somebody that truly loved me for me and she has helped me in ways that I never could have imagined anybody. She is my BFF, she's my girlfriend, she's my wife, she's my love, she's my lover, she is... She is my match. And it's here where I want to say that it's vastly important for anyone that's transitioning um, male to female or female to male or, or even non-binary or whatever the case may be that they have people around them that love them and support them. And I, I have that. And my strongest cheerleader is the person I married. So, thank you. Um, since my last video, um, I have, I feel, I have physically changed a lot. Um, the hormones are starting to kick in and, uh, um, making me look better. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Um... My facial structure's changed a bit. My hair is growing. I, I, I'm so happy how quick my hair is growing. Um, it's at the length now that I can do a few little things with, which 
encourages me because I express myself a little bit. Today I didn't put much effort into it because it's Saturday. Um, I dyed my hair. Uh, actually, Anastasia dyed it for me. Uh, I wanted to go blonde, but we decided to go kind of like a dirty strawberry kind of blonde as a good middle step just to make sure I look good in that color. Uh, and I do, I think. Um, I'm sure there's some people out there that disagree. Again, don't want to hear about it. Um, so, what I'm going to do is once my hair gets a little longer, I'm going to get trimmed up a bit. Get all those split ends and nasty stuff off. Uh, Redye my hair and then tip it with the blue again. Because um, I've lost most of my blue now. It's been some time. Which kind of makes me a little sad. So... But that's okay. Um, I'm wearing the clothes I've always wanted to wear. And I have the confidence to wear them. So that's been very exciting for me. Uh, I purged my closet just recently. And removed all the boy clothes. And that was a huge thing. So huge for me. Um... I, I don't know how else to describe it as the closing of one chapter and the beginning of another. Um, my boobs are now big enough that I can wear a bra now, <laughs> um, which I like. My form, my shape is becoming more to what I was hoping it would be, therefore giving me the confidence to uh, dress more like me. Um, mind you, I still have certain things I have to deal with that I'm not particularly pleased with, but it takes time, and well, I'll get there. I'll get there. Um, I'm no longer at Voyager. I am working in the factory now, uh, and I'll get back to that, and I really hope the barking upstairs isn't too overpowering I apologize <clears throat> so what happened was in January I went and got uh, my nose pierced and got a couple more earrings and my confidence went up a bit then Anastasia dyed my hair and my confidence went up a little bit more and Voyager before I left I was still working for them ended up sending me to Ottawa and Anastasia and Harley were able to come and we went to Ottawa for uh, two weeks and obviously I worked uh, I um, I had the confidence up there because all my paperwork was in order now and I was looking better I, I was feeling better I had more confidence so when we went up there I just acted completely like me without any worries I guess um, because nobody knows me nobody knows my history my past anything so they they uh, formed the judgments of who I am um, based on what they see and for me and some people are going to disagree with this and that's okay um, Passing is very important to me. And this was like a big test of am I passable? And yes, I am. Actually, I had uh, Anastasia says this. I, I don't know if she's just saying it to try and give me confidence or whatever, but um, she caught a couple boys checking me out within the two week process. And even a gentleman came up to us while we were in the restaurant and she said he was hitting on me but I don't think he was but whatever but that experience really really boosted my confidence because I did pass I I was seen as the woman that I am and that was um, that meant the world to me and that helped me take that next step so <laughs> After we came back home, which was nice to come home, let's be honest, uh, me and Anastasia missed home, and it was nice to get Harley back into a more 
better routine. Um, living in a hotel room is only so fun for so long. Um, came back and uh, went back to my normal routine and uh, I started thinking because school is going to end in the next few months and I'm not pulling the hours I need at Voyager. I wasn't making the income that I need at Voyager so I brought up the suggestion to Anastasia if what if I went back to work in the factories um, and one in particular I rather not say the name of the company uh, but one I have been at prior when I was still Joseph uh, <laughs> and but I wanted to go back because I have friends there and people that I know would support me and help me because let's be honest uh, for a girl like me to walk into a, a factory with the chance of them knowing I'm transgender it could get challenging <clears throat> so what I ended up doing is I ended up finding what Temp Agency was running that contract called them found out what the likelihood was if I could get back in and uh, the pay had gone up since last I was there which was awesome to hear and it everything ended up working out very well so now I'm at the factory and I'm no longer at Voyager excuse me so um, I'm excited because now we're gonna be bringing in a half decent income so we'll have a little bit of extra money and <laughs> let's be honest transitioning is not cheap so when we have a newborn that's not cheap either so very we it brings us hope again so uh, I just did my first three days there and I have to admit the first day when I was getting ready to go uh, there were some concerns from friends and Anastasia um, I was getting ready to go in for my first shift and <laughs> I almost had a, an anxiety attack that's how scared I was um, it was under the understanding that me being transgender was not to be released publicly not that I'm ashamed of it but I want to be given the chance to be judged on who I am not what I am eventually it'll come out and that's fine right so I went to my shift and oddly enough I met a I ran into a girl I went to high school with and I recognized her she kinda recognized me um, we started talking a little bit and we figured out we went to school together but <laughs> she still couldn't place me so I kinda had to tip my hand a little bit to help her connect who I was and her response was it touched me more than I can ever express this wasn't somebody I hung out with in high school I knew who she was she knew who I was and that was about the extent of our interaction with one another so she's been absolutely supportive she has been so kind uh, obviously um, she's had some questions and she's asked and that's awesome she's actually gone and watched some of my videos and even Anastasia's like it, it touches me so much um, I made some friends um, I think after finishing the third shift there I'm gonna be okay uh, again, like Ottawa, I'm seen as the woman that I am, and that's an absolutely amazing feeling, and it warms my heart so much that I never thought that I would get to the point that people would not see me as a boy in a dress or a boy trying to pretend they were a girl. They see me for the girl I am, and... I wish I could put that into words. I, I really, I wish I could. Um, I've been lucky. I've lost some people in my life. I'm not hurt. But the people that replaced them have made my life so much better. Um, I'm happy. I am absolutely happy. 
Um, and, and I'm so early in my transition still, so I'm like, oh my god, like, <laughs> um, now, <laughs> I still have things like my voice, which makes me paranoid, I'm sure everybody can hear Ro being a barky barky, so I apologize, I'm trying to work on my voice still, we haven't heard anything from the voice therapy people yet, so hopefully soon, um, cause I really wanna fix that, it really makes me insecure. Um, I got, uh, new tattoos, yeah, I got, um, Harley Quinn and Joker, the skulls from, uh, the Suicide Squad, one on each side, uh, <laughs> and my appointment for my Harley Quinn tattoo for Harley, my little sweetie, has been booked, and I got three weeks to go, it's on my ribs, I know it's gonna hurt, but it's worth it for her, so I'm excited about that, cause I wanna get color, I wanna get color more color on me, right? I want to be able to get some of the tattoos I've always wanted to get. Um, so, life is good. is really good. And I want to thank everybody that has shown support and kindness. It means the world to me. And I want people to understand being transgender is not an easy thing. Especially when we decide to transition. And a little bit of compassion and understanding would go a very long way. Uh, I hope one day I could be a positive voice for us. Um, because we need it. We do. Uh, so I'm going to cut this off now. Before I start rambling. Um, I'm sure I'm going to go, oh, I forgot to mention this. But I always make another video. So um, I hopefully everybody's really impressed with how I look, and how I sound, and how I am. Um, positive feedback is always a good thing. <laughs> um, but I send all my love to everybody out there, and a message to anybody that's in my shoes or struggling with struggling with something. Remember one thing: you're not alone. Even though you may feel like you're alone, you're not. Um, there's help out there. There's people that understand. There is actually compassionate, caring people. So never give up. We're all in this together. And the only way we're going to make this world a better place is by uh, loving each other a little more and understanding each other a little more. So I want to thank everybody now. And I hope everything goes well for everybody out there. Um, and I look forward to talking to you again in the future. And um, hopefully my voice sounds a little better. But I love everybody out there. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for everything. And I hope, I really hope I make everybody proud. Bye.